Welcome to Simulator Adventures and welcome back to BeamNG Drive. Today we're having a look at the 0.24 update. It just came out and there's lots to look at, so let's get started. First of all, here's the main menu. It's been completely overhauled. The UI in this game has been improved quite a lot. We've got this dark mode theme, which I really love. Um, but let's jump in to West Coast USA because I think that's the best place to have a look at some of the changes. And also, on this map, finally, the traffic lights, um, the traffic actually follow the traffic lights, which is really, really cool. So there's new vehicles in this update. Um, well, not really. There's uh, actually new remasters of original vehicles that are already in the game, which is really good because they've improved them massively. And there is actually a new variant of a car which isn't included in the main kind of update list, so you can't see it. You have to look at the update change log to see it and we're gonna have a look at that now because why not uh, it is the brookle moonhawk and it's called the donk i mean this is something i don't really know what that means but it's still pretty cool and it's basically like, got massive gold wheels look at this and really hard riding suspension oh yes so this is something you might have missed but it is in the game now so let's Let's stop there. Um, but if you press Y or on, a, on a controller or M on the keyboard, we've got a map mode. This is something that's finally in the game, and I love it. It looks really good. And as you can see, you can go around here and choose all the different missions that are on the map. So we'll do one of those. Uh, let's do preferably something with, I see, quick travel points, bus drivers, time trial, highway strip. Highway intersection time trial. Sure. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Let's do that. Go for it. Huh? Okay. I don't know how you do that. Oh, you can put like a map. Can you, oh, you can set a waypoint. Oh my god. Right. Let's go. Let's set a waypoint to this. Okay. And now in the world, you can actually see where you're going. Oh, that is really good. So we will look at the cars later. But right now, let's check out this map mode. So as you can see in the world, there's like um, kind of floating orbs that show you where the uh, all the missions are. Uh oh, this donk is really riding hard on the suspension. It's kind of difficult to control. And it's got really loud exhausts. Whoa, oh my goodness. Oh, smash. Um, so it's not here. Or was it here? I thought it was further along. Let's have a look. No, it was there. So let's go and do that. Ooh. And let's do it in the brand new remastered Ibishu Pessima. And we've got this beautiful 2.7 litre V6 Sport. Whoops. I'm getting used to con the controls. They've changed them around um, on the controller. But anyway, look at this. Well, it's very red. Um, that body kit looks amazing doesn't it? So much better than the last one, where it was literally just a, a spoiler. Anyway, view details, and play. Here we go. Straight in. So you can do checkpoint time trials and missions right from the map, which is so cool. Oh my goodness, I'm going pretty off-road. Whoa. Oh, we've got little time trial boards. Anyway, in this update as well, there's the PBR um, graphics update to more maps, which means that the maps now look better and crisper uh, with the textures and also in the distance, which is good, because some of the maps, um, especially the older maps, look quite terrible in the distance. Like the the de level of detail isn't very good in the distance. But they've... Um... What? Oh, really? But they've really... Um, up graded that in this version. Anyway, I think we get the idea with that map. So, how do we how do we get out of this now? Do we just abandon right? And you just continue back into the main world, which is good. So, we're going to have a look at the Gavril 8 series first, before we look at the Pesma again, because there's lots of new variants. As you can see, they've updated it totally, and I'm going to go for the street-tuned one, which is sort of like the Mystery Machine from um, Scooby-Doo, right? Look at this. Looks good. Ooh. And then inside we've got a complete overhaul. We've got a, we've got like a um, a sat nav down there, which is pretty cool. 
big space in the back. That is so detailed there. Look at all like, the metal work back there. That's so cool. And I'll tell you what we should do. We should get the AI going so we can show you how um, the traffic now responds to the traffic lights, which is cool. Oh, Traffic still takes quite a while to load, which is annoying. But um, there you go. There you go. Now, before we continue, one thing you might have missed as well is that if you do Control w look at the frame of the vehicle, body, uh, then you want to look for roof, roof accessory, and you can change it to roof uh, rack, um, then look for roof accessory, roof rack, and you can put... Huh? Let's get rid of those. Ladders and pipes? No, I don't want that. Roof bars, then. Here we go. Roof bars. Yeah, you can put a couch, a fridge, and a mattress on top now. We're going to put the couch on top. The Mystery Machine has a couch on top. That's really cool. And you can fit it to almost all the vehicles in the game, which makes some of them really difficult to handle because it's like becomes top-heavy. Whoa. And this thing has quite... Oh yeah, you can actually feel the weight. Feel the oh my goodness. Wow. Now one other thing which I saw and is really cool. If you hit someone. Bang. Now let's see if they respond because they might chase me now. They might chase me. No, they're not going to chase me. But there's an actual chance now for cars to chase you so you can uh, swap insurance details. Ready? If we stop next to this guy. Is it going to do it? Yes. You have exchanged insurance information. So there's a chance for cars to flee when you've hit them because they're like scared. Um, or you can get chased by them because they want to get your insurance details. That's really like a fun little touch. Anyway, let's have a look at some more of this van. So we've got passenger variants. We've got um, this cabster rollback up fit, which is pretty cool. Let's check that out. Tilt bed. Look at that. Extend bed, control, and page up. Oh, yes. That is so cool. Can we drive with it down? We can. So we can make like a ramp, basically. Which is pretty cool. Look at this thing. And the interior is really good. The, the, like, the steering wheel looks much better. The seats are all modelled. It's really good. But like, this is like quite posh actually. It's got a sat nav and like buttons on the steering wheel. What year was this made? Does it say? Two thousand and really? Wow. Okay, it's, it's later than I thought. And then we've got the we've got a police transport van, which is cool. Um, maybe that'll be used in a mission. There's actually no new missions in the game at the moment in this update, but. Um, there is actually a, a vehicle that's coming to the game that's called the Brookle Bastion, which is like a sort of Dodge Charger-esque car, but that's not come out yet. Um, I heard a police car. What's going on? Did they just chase someone random? Infraction speeding? Oh, that's weird. Okay, you can get busted for speeding, I guess. Um, so let's go and have a look now at the Pessima. So we've got the Turbo Burger, the unpalatable, a taxi. This would be cool to drive around. And checking out the interior of this car. Yeah, looks pretty nice. Looks pretty nice. And I saw someone in the comments of a, of a video, um, I think like one of the trailers for this, or the dev videos, that... Uh, Uh-oh. That the... Um, the steering wheel looks really cheap and nasty, which is exactly how they thought it should look. Okay, that's just a police car. Stop. Uh-oh. Now we're really screwed. But yeah, they haven't changed really the engine that much. Maybe they've given different variants. There's like a two-litre variant of, a, of the Sport now, which is cool. But yeah, this thing, it handles pretty well. Um, they've improved like the crash effects, so let's uh, let's have a go at that. You can now press up on the D-pad on the controller to go into slow motion mode. Yeah, it looks pretty good. That really does look good. And actually not much deformation in the body. 
So they've actually kind of improved the crash, um, how, how well cars, this car responds to crashes now, which is good. Um, got Turbo Burger on the top, which you can actually get a Turbo Burger like variant as well. What's going on here? So we've been on this map a lot before, but things like the small map, the smaller maps are like um, updated now with the PBR updates. If you want to try those, they're going to look a lot better. And I think also Italy. Uh, that map, when you look in the distance, it doesn't look that good, but now it's going to look a lot better. So what else we got? The rally. Look at that. Um, the drag. The touring car, which I think is really cool. Let's head down to the racetrack. So yeah, this is like... Um, British touring car kind of thing because or, or like German touring car although Ibishu Pesma is actually you know Japanese company isn't it so maybe I'm, I sh I'm, ooh, I'm sure there was a Japanese touring car championship uh oh wow that went well is he going to chase me you see sometimes they do chase you anyway let's go up here See, I've covered a lot of the things in the update. Obviously, there's lots of different vehicles. You can um, look... What the heck are they? The AI seems to be a little bit weird in this update, but, you know, whatever. Um, there's also a mission editor, which means that people can actually create their own missions, which is really cool. Um, and that is pretty much all of the main things. Ooh. Yeah, just look, looking through it, that's pretty much all the main things. Oh, my goodness. But let's take this into the racetrack to really finish off. So I think we can get to it this way. God, it's quick. And there's the original Abyssal Pessimist, which they haven't updated in this update. Just this one. So the racetrack is just over here. And apparently they've updated like all the AI, so the AI doesn't spawn now on the racetrack, which is good because it's really difficult to race around here when there's AI kind of driving around not doing much. Uh, how do I... Okay, let's go up here. You can easily get onto the racetrack, I'm pretty sure. Kinda. Uh-oh. So yeah. BeamNG 0.24. Just a quick video. I mean, I made one the other day on the, on the Autobello buggy. And then as soon as I released that, what happens they release a brand new update. And my game is, is kind of stuttering at the moment, but usually they um, they do like little hot fixes and bug fixes in the days after the um, update releases, which I love. I think they've really done a good job with this update. We're finally getting to the point now where this game could be so much more than just a physics and crashing simulation game. Um, to finish off, what should we do? One more eight shooters. Is, is there like a ra oh? There's the Vandal, which is pretty cool. Or the uplift. There's like a passenger variant. There's so much to look at. So yeah, big big update. Um, good fun update actually. And this map mode. Just have a look at it once more. Wow. Look, there I am. Is that, it shows you where you are. Oh, that's really cool. And it'll make the game uh, much easier to nav navigate around when you when you know where you want to go. Um, but yeah, from me in BeamNG 0.24, just a quick video showing you the update and what my thoughts of it are, and to be honest, yeah, really good. So thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you soon for some more Simulator Adventures. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to see more content from my channel, and check out these videos to see more simulation gaming on Simulator Adventures.